The ineffectiveness of the Russian counter-offensive operation in the Kursk region is that in a month and a half, the Russian Federation has not been able to demonstrate any phenomenal breakthrough to the border. Instead, the Russians have lost territory to the east of Korenevo. The Ukrainian Defense Forces had the opportunity to advance practically to the railway and in the southern locations of the Glushkovsky district, a section near Veseloy opened up for them, that is, the direction to Glushkovo itself, as well as several other sections, including the one that Ukrainian armed forces broke through literally on September the 23rd. This was reported by the military political observer of the group Information Resistance, Alexander Kovalenko, on the air of the YouTube channel Speak the Great Lviv. The Ukrainian Defense Forces continue to maintain a zone of control in the Kursk region of approximately 1,100 to 1,300 square kilometers due to the fact that where the Russians advance some distance, we, in turn, advance in other directions, and they cannot prevent us from doing this in any way, the analyst noted. On September the 23rd, the Ukrainian armed forces advanced in the Glushkovsky district, breaking through another section of the border with the Russian Federation. That is, the Russians do not control the border with Ukraine, even with an increase in their grouping almost fivefold. Kovalenko emphasized, Putin's troops are trying to counter-attack at a time when they cannot stop our offensive and even our breakthroughs in some areas. Of course, such attacks distract their attention and disperse their resources. Moreover, at the end of September, beginning of October, the resources of the Russian Federation may find themselves in a rather interesting position. The military expert intrigued. The operation by Ukrainian defenders in the Kursk region has put the Russian forces in a dilemma, directly impacting their plans in the Donetsk region, stated Ivan Taimochko, head of the Council of Reserve Officers of the Ground Forces, in a comment. He reminded that there is currently a struggle between Ukraine and Russia for the operational strategic initiative with the main political target for the enemy being the Donetsk region. While for us, the question is not about political goals, but about the liberation of territory. The military operation we are conducting in the Kursk region is aimed at forcing the enemy to use forces and resources that they could deploy against the Ukrainian army in the Donetsk region. Taimochko added, According to him, the interim results indicate that neither side will cease operations. The situation will depend on how each side can accumulate forces and resources. Taimochko believes the Russian forces are now facing a paradox. If they seriously reinforce the Kursk direction by using soldiers from the Donetsk front, it will undermine their political objective of occupying the Donetsk region. Ukrainian troops from the 95th Separate Air Assault Policia Brigade have broken through another section of the Russian border. Communications Office for the Ukrainian Air Assault Forces Command reported this. Units from the 95th Separate Air Assault Policia Brigade of Ukraine's Air Assault Forces have broken through one of the sections of the Russian border. This is the second successful operation to penetrate the Russian border since the beginning of the operation in Kursk Oblast of the Russian Federation, Communications Office for the Ukrainian Air Assault Forces Command said. Ukrainian forces have posted a video showing the breaching of engineering barriers with airborne assault units advancing into Russian territory and initial clashes in the border area where Ukrainian tanks engage a Russian strongpoint. The military has not revealed the exact location of their breakthrough of the border with Russia. Recall the Ukrainian operation in Kursk Oblast began on the 6th of August 2024. As known from open sources, the core of the Kursk operation consisted of two brigades of Ukraine's air assault forces, the legendary Lviv 80th Brigade and the newly formed Chernivsky 82nd Brigade. In the second week of the operation, part of the 95th Air Assault Brigade joined them. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky, in an interview with the American weekly The New Yorker, said that the operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in Kursk region has already brought certain results, one of which is to reveal to Russians the true attitude of their president, Volodymyr Putin, towards his own people. This move caught many by surprise, including Russia and Ukraine's allies in the West. It marked the first time in more than 80 years that Russian territory had fallen under the control of an outside power. 
After initial allocating about 1,000 troops and dozens of armored vehicles for the operation, it is estimated that Ukraine now has several thousand troops and hundreds of armored vehicles operating in Kursk. This is not the first time that forces aligned with Ukraine have entered the territory of the Russian Federation. In May 2023, and again earlier this year, anti-Putin Russian forces from the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps entered Russia's Belgorod Oblast and captured a few border towns. However, it is now clear that Ukraine's current operation in neighboring Kursk Oblast is different. Earlier incursions into Russian territory relied on ethnic Russian units and if Ukrainian military units played a role, it was not made public and was likely minimal. This time, the operation in Kursk Oblast is predominantly being carried out by regular Ukrainian units.